Let's see. Very a wander, very Terraria, much starbound. I will try anything if it looks reasonably interesting. This is reasonably interesting. Do I not have any? I have a soil. Soil. What are you doing? What do you mean I don't have soil? I got tons. I, I guess I don't have soil in my inventory. That's that's a confusing prospect. So I can craft rags. The owl mask does not actually look like it does anything. It's purely cosmetic. Okay, so small silver forge lets me make silver scythe. Fine broom. Light staff. And... Okay, so the pickaxes are not too expensive. What about... The iron, the full iron forge. So we can make a fortress shield. A blacksmith's hammer, and I can make heavy swords now. Cool. So I can I can make more of these without buying them. Well, I'm going to start with the fortre fortress shield and get rid of the old wooden one. How do I block controls? Keyboard and mouse. I'm not sure. I might just look like this. Okay. Well, that's fine. So I've got a spare pickaxe. We've got we've got some food. Let's continue adventuring. Where? Hell if I know. I guess honestly, let's let's just walk for this. If there was a map that kind of showed all the nodes and how they connected, I think I'd be really happy. Did I take this one? I don't know if I took this one. I think I look, looked at it, but I never went this way. Wonder you can make a soldier helm. It's probably better than stone. You know, you're probably right about that. Uh... Okay, so this guy sells Hollow Knife, Thorn Crossbow, Thaumaturge. Interdasting. Hmm. I see somebody created a, uh, a situation where I may not enter. This will not stand. Let me tell you. Ooh, I have entered Sugar Mountain. Oh, Snake Stone. Cannot be ma mined. That's a new one. There's a craftsman in town that would make it. Right, that's, yeah, well, we'll go back and do that in a little bit. Maybe when my armor breaks. It does look like I found myself in a place where I can't necessarily go. This is a, a temporary barricade at best. I will have you know. Okay, so I've destroyed this wall. Now can I... Okay, so I can build over here. I will enter your fortress. I will scale your walls. You will not stop me. You will even put a teleportation crystal here right for me. What is this? Where are we? Lower place of caves. An odd place for caves. I'm confused. There's a man with a murder on, presumably for me. A giant knight. More like a wimp. A wimp of ready for a murdering. Ooh, and he had some things for me. Yes. Ah. Oh. The perks of adventuring. Hello. Is this another giant knight? It is. Hello. I will get choppy with you. And you will die. It will be good. For me. Most, mostly just me. Okay, so silver pick finally broke, but I can make plenty up. I want to lose that. 
That set me back. Uh, let's see. The question is, do I try going up? There's somebody nearby. Oops. There's somebody nearby that is digging through the environment to get at me. And I'm not entirely clear on who. Never mind, I am now clear. He is below me. Or at least something is below me, I don't know. The way this game handles ge level generation is funky doodle. Oh. He's still kind of coming. He kind of gave up. Well, oh, it's okay. Oh. A loyal subject, eh? Well then, you cannot handle me. I am simply too powerful for you. And carrying a great many pieces of equipment that make me largely invulnerable to your attack. What did you think would happen, hmm? I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't think in the slightest. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of just kind of empty caverns here. I I would say this game is probably kind of in the same vein as many early access, like, procedurally generated games. A giant squire. Uh, games that... Baseline are kind of interesting. Uh, let's quickly drink this juice, probably. Because, yeah, they've, they've dropped stuff. A frozen object. Whoa! Hi! What'd that do? That, like, just turned on the outside? That was random. Okay. Um, but, you know, games like these could do with, like, just a little bit of proceed... Uh, well, very specific design. A giant loyal protector. Alright, well... I guess this works. Um, but yeah, a little bit of like specific design so like when you go into a dungeon it's like an actually like interesting place to explore as opposed to just kind of a, uh, a semi-disconnected series of holes. I guess would be the term I'd use. Like to some degree I'd actually like to uh, I'd actually like to, uh, you know, see what the developer could come up with as far as, like, an interesting area goes. Okay, so my shit's gonna break soon, and this guy's gonna start doing a lot more damage to me, which probably means we're gonna want to leave as soon as we fight him and toss my stuff and replace it with, uh, better equipment. Okay, so what do I got in my inventory that I can get rid of? Silver picks. I have yet to find out a means of, uh... I have yet to find out a means of, like, repairing anything. What is this? Broken armor. I mean, it looks like broken stuff still has kind of an effect. Yeah, I was actually having... Very similar problems uh, to this game that I was having. I mean, It Lurks Below, which was mentioned earlier. That was kind of a neat game, but uh, the levels were boring. It was just kind of like empty caves and the occasional boss. Um, what's some other good examples to pull from? I mean, to some degree, No Man's Sky. But I think that kind of can go without saying. Or more per se, uh, it can be said over and over and over again, but the perception is you're beating a dead horse, which is true. That horse is very beatable. I think I almost want to go down here. I'm like, I'm finding interesting things, but I'm not finding anything worth going to. Like a little bit of iron here and there, but that, that's about it. 
And so, yeah, with th this level of procedural generation, it more feels like I'm uh, wandering aimlessly than I'm actually adventuring. Did we ever find out what's up here? I guess I'm just going to keep going up, though. Oh, there, there's at least something there. Assuming I can... Good, I can mine through this floor. Well, we had... We have a door. Hi! Oh. Fumbled, bleed, fumbled, bleed. Okay, we killed one of them. I've, I've killed two of them. Broken my helmet. I think I'm blind. I'm just gonna juice my way through this. Alright. Bruised ego. Well, maybe it's my broken helmet. Yeah, it's my broken helmet and my broken armor. Bone hammer. And we have a stash. Stash has... Some crystal. Oh, right. We're supposed to go back to the slug. I forgot. I'm just carrying around a door. Oh, let's see. What else can I get rid of? Stone brick. I can live without that. Yeah, I thought I died there. Like, I thought that was the end of me. Let's go back to the snail cave for a second. Because this required two crystal. Two moonstones required. Oh. Let's go back to this guy, see what he says. Dark times, quest ahead, moonstones, power of this great machine. Is that it? Or, no, sorry, went through the door. The fact that he just kind of hangs out of the door is kind of inconvenient. Anyway. Uh, let's try and talk to Solomon some more. Is that... In a hive... Deep below the forest. Second moonstone is trapped within a mountainous keep. Oh, so... Okay. There's... There we go. I guess I should have just talked to him more instead of just beating him. Um, so I have a bruised ego and... I don't know what bruised ego does. Anyway, let's, let's go back to the abbey. So what, what can I make? I can make things, but none of this is helpful. Let's just make that. Make some raw stone. Okay, so the Silver Forge, both of these are only for armor. Okay, so we want to go back to Eastern out of town? Let's talk with this man. Because he is the purveyor of Plumed armor. And iron plate. Okay, so now I'm now I'm fairly well equipped. I don't remember there being any better weapons crafters around. Anyway, so we know we know where we must go. So we want to go back to the forest. Uh, honestly, let's just go to under place. So, there's a hive underground here. Oh, you know what? Let's go west place, maybe. Okay, so now I've, now I've been properly, uh, re-equipped with all of my, all of my good gear. You know... No, we, we're going to do one more thing before I go anywhere. Back to the Abbey. I've got, uh, are there shovels? Yes, there, there are shovels, there are pickaxes, there's a bunch, bunch of things. I'm going to offload a bunch of the garbage that I'm carrying around. I've got, okay, so I've got some weapons. I've got a number of weapons to use, potentially. Toss the sugar. Keep the platforms. We need these. Yeah, weapons, weapons, axe. Moss, gold ingots, pebbles. 
Boss silver, oil. I don't think we need the oil. We're not getting much of that. A massive iron gauntlet. Grab the shovel. Okay, uh, let's go over to this one. I'm going to store some of this equipment. We're probably not going for wood for a while. Or that. We probably only need one of the hammers. I'll figure out a better sorting system at a later date. Oh, I have a sword versus a heavy sword. I don't know what the immediate differences are going to be. Raystone. Oh. Stone block, stone brick. Ugh. Alright, anything else immediately from my inventory I should get rid of? Nope. Alright, let's go back here. Oh, went over hit. Wander's head. Shovel Knight. I already said, I'm, I'm Radioactive Moon Knight. Or Melon Knight. Not Shovel Knight. I mean, there are shovels. But this is not Shovel Knight. Nor will he ever be. Okay, and let's take his iron equipment off. Before it all gets, uh, a little breaky on him. I figure I might as well kind of extend this over. I wonder if I can put, like, a wooden platform. Oh. I wonder how much you have to block off to, to get rid of the water entirely from an area. Decent amount, looks like. Okay, whatever. Let's just use the shovel. Because, yeah, there's a bunch of silver in this area. That I would like to get. Because, yeah, I, I want to have effectively infinite silver pickaxes. At least until we move on to the, uh... At least until we move on to the... Some of the better armor sets. Whenever we get there. But yeah, so instead of having, like, uh, really good water physics, like, uh... Oh, Bruised Ego reduces my maximum HP. Okay, that's actually a consideration I should hold on to. I don't know if I can get rid of this. Uh, get rid of it. Hopefully it's one of those that it just goes away over time. Do you think, uh, Bruised Ego would go away as soon as you kill, uh, the person that slayed you, but I, I guess no dice. But yeah, after, after playing Dig or Die, going to this kind of water physics is like, eh, it's okay. It flows, at least, I'll give it that. I know some games just don't have flowing water, period. That always feels really strange. Digging underwater is not a pleasant experience. Okay, so yeah, let's get rid of this. I just kind of wish it didn't rely so much on infinite uh, water spawners. They're everywhere. Okay. And is that... No, that's all iron ore. Okay, so let's let's head over this way. I saw a little bit of silver. And that is, to some degree, where we always want to just kind of head for. Why is this kind of smoking? Oh, a cave entrance. Well, silver ore. The silent den doesn't look very big. If this game had an RPG leveling system, I go to town, but uh, there's not really a whole lot of point point of just murdering a. Water does have reflections, by the way. That's nice. It's mainly just like uh, I try and block the water off so it, I can have like air pockets and whatnot. And it's just like, nope, infinite water. It's like, wait. Well, this will be silver ore for days. Beauty part of silver ore is you don't need coal either uh, to perpetuate it. It, it. It's purely just like a... It's a free smelting resource. Okay, 
so we might as well put a uh, platform down up here. There we go. Back to mining! Oh, that's all raw stone. If you leave a cave and stand on the platform above the water, uh, you'll see the reflection. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, I'm not actually trying to, like, bash the game. It's just going from digger dies, like, fairly comprehensive mechanics, uh, water mechanics. Anything else is kind of odd. Oh. Okay, these things drop sharp stone and mass. And those drop grot legs. Gross. But probably edible. So yeah, honestly, I'd like to see this game have some more, like, um... Go further into the sandboxing mechanics. I think initially. Because I, I definitely would like to be, uh, kind of scaling up my, like, production systems. Instead of just, like, relying on robbing towns nearby for better, better, uh, crafting benches and whatnot. Or talking to NPCs. But I do appreciate that it's kind of more of a, a, a linear experience through these areas, even if I'm, like, woefully lost at any point where I'd, like, start going off the beaten path. So yeah, how far down can you go? Because it doesn't feel like this map is very big. But it's got a bunch of silver on it, so I'd... I'm just gonna kind of go... go the distance. Ugh, be kind of sleepy. It's been a sleepy day. But that's what happens when I don't sleep at night. Okay, so there's our answer. There's there's probably some more resources down here, but... Nothing that I'm looking for. Or maybe there is, I don't know. Yeah, no, you can't see the reflections. That's, that's a neat trick. Okay, so we're looking for a hive down here. Red clay. Use shovel. Use better shovel. That's heavy. Well, it's doing the trick. Okay, let's let's see what we got around here. Cause that hive's got to be at at a certain point. That, uh, I don't actually know what that is. Let's check if it's like a chest or something. And you can get encumbered in this game. Okay. Okay, and more raw silver. Yeah, I, I'm gonna just keep taking these kind of off the beaten path trips uh, for as much silver as I can grab. Because I, I do want to be loaded in this stuff. Interesting thing I'm no noticing to some degree is... Uh, I I know it told me to like go with a human because human was like easy mode or whatever. But I'm really appreciating the fact that this character, uh, this character just glows. And feels nothing. I mean the whole feels nothing thing is just kind of a dumb joke. Uh, that's, yep, more silver ore. Eventually we're going to figure out how to... How to make a uh, silver armor, and then I'm I'm going to be ready for it. Oh, there's silver up there. Must get. Until then, we go down. Uh, let's see where's that hammer. Oh. Okay. We got a. I think that's just like a consistent light source. I'm gonna block off the water. Apparently encumbrance plus being underwater is a very bad mix. So hopefully we'll find a oh that stone. Hopefully find we'll find a teleportation crystal around here somewhere. Well, I found what looks to be maybe the hive. I really wish you could actually just right-click to equip or something. That'd be nice. I 
Hello, creature. Ow. I'm going to need a platform down or two. It exploded. As it should. Okay, so... We've got a couple of doorways here. Loretto's runes. Ah! Okay, so we have the teleport crystal like I was looking for. Okay, cool. Now I can hit them all. Main problem is my sword just doesn't have a lot of reach to it. And this hunter is... very well equipped compared to me. Let's, uh, let's grab the massive iron gauntlet instead. Okay, I do a little bit more damage. I'll have to do. Ah, a stranger! Yes. Hello! I'm here. That hurt a bit. Uh, let's see. Who even have? Are you... No, that's Mosmo. So we, we don't actually know who Loretto is. Trapdoor. Looks like this whole whole little mini dungeon is garbage. But it does have the Loretto the the little ah I'm like trying to add like a uh, to it for whatever reason. Anyway, it does have the letter the the Loretto runes uh waypoint, so I can kinda of warp out of there. Anyway, uh actually no, we wanna go back to the Abbey. Because I need more pickaxes. I, I don't know if I can fix them. Oh, I should have tried the bone hammer. We never we never did test that. Okay, uh, what about equipment? Blacksmith's hammer. Functional crumbles. And heavy sword, but no. Uh, let's see. Do we get rid of the dig stick? Probably. And my stuff got busted fast. Alright, whatever. Now can I? Nope. I've got to actually go through the door. I hate when I have to cancel D&D &D for whatever reason, because I always get everybody being like, D&D? I'm like, no D&D. &D. That sucks. For everybody. Sucks for me. I just... <laughs> Yesterday I was kind of excited for it, and then I got up today and I'm like, oh goody, I have to send out more. Now this looks a little bit more... ...correct for where I'm going. The husk seems appropriate for the location. And do I want a ton of leaves and... ...that? Sure. What's this? Rings. Useless. Well, whatever. I don't even know what I'm necessarily looking for in this area. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of food too. If farming would be appreciated. I'm actually not sure how to get more food. Because I have yet to see, like, farming as an option. 